So who's ready for a Grinchy time? Before we get into the video, I wanted to tell everyone that I actually did this yesterday, but I couldn't upload the video or, you know, get it all well prepared until today, so that's why it's kind of weird and wonky with the times. But yes, let's get to it. So in this video, what I'm going to do is make a special challenge for myself. I'm going to write a short story within one day. I kind of cheated already because I thought about the story last night, and I kind of know what I'm doing. But yeah, um, in fact, it's probably not even going to be a short story. It's going to be like some flash fiction there. But the twist is, since a lot of holiday stuff and all that has rhyming, I have to rhyme it. So it's going to be like flash fiction rhyming challenge-ish thing for the holidays. So, And since because it is the holiday season and I love Dr. Seuss and Dr. Seuss's stuff, I'm going to do mine on how the Grinch met his dog Max. So this is going to be fun. Um, I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to blow my nose or something like that. Like, I can't breathe right now because I'm talking. <laughs> so, and hopefully I don't sound this terrible throughout the entire, you know, video. But, yes. So, let's go. Let's get to it. Before I get started, I have to feed my own dog or she will bite me. Come on, Annie. Under the gate. Under the gate. You want me to go first? Oh, okay. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna. Come on. You can do it. Good girl. We have that gate there because that dog and the other one tried to get her food. So if we have it up, she can get under, but they can't. So, here's your baby. Let's get you some food. There you go. Good girl. Okay, and see, see, she won't eat until I leave, so, until I scoot back. Go for it. Let's see. <laughs> Little puppy. Oh. Hey, <laughs> my, my bed's finally clean. <laughs> Had to clean off my bed, because all those, all the, the, the pillows and, and Foxy, the stuffed animal, uh, were in my seat, so I had to do that. And I'm almost got my desk cleaned off, except for like those rags. But anyways, I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm about to take some medicine to help, but I got, I don't know if you can see it. I'll change the, uh, the camera in just a second. I got my, um, short story, like worked out a little bit just to see the flow and all that, and da 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 It might change a little bit when I actually write it, especially when it comes to the rhyming part, but it's just like, just a small outline, because it's only like a flash fiction slash short story. I don't know how long it'll be. For those of you who are wondering, flash fiction is usually just very small. Like, people argue about word count and all that. I don't have to, you know, it's, mm, I can tell if it's a flash fiction versus a short story. Some people use those words interchangeably but flash fiction is usually like very very small um if you type it up it may not even be a page long it may be a little bit over a page but that's about it short stories can be like maybe two to three pages long and right next to my outline i have rhymer.com pulled up it was the first rhyming uh website that i found when i you know put in rhyming words on google so um, I might go to another one or anything like that, you know, whatever you use, I'll probably tell you all. So that's what I'm using. I'm using just basic word document and then I'm, you know, rhymer.com, all of that loveliness. Right now it's like 10.06. So, you know, let's see if I can do this in a whole day. Hopefully I can do the video too and just have it pop up tomorrow. So, <laughs> but yes, let's get to it. Sorry, I just had a sneezing fit. Oh my goodness, yeah. I took some Dayquil or whatever it's called. Um, I think the Equate version, <laughs> just because it's cheaper. Anyways, so I got a little bit done, but I'm about to go with my mom to the store just to get out of the house, which is hopefully not a bad idea. So yeah. Hello. So back home. I'm stopped up <laughs> still. Um... I got some of it done, which all you can see is like what the advertisement on thestores.com. Anyways, 
you know how hard it is to actually rhyme stuff? Like, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but hopefully I can, like, do, like, just write it. I'm almost done writing it. He, he just met Max. But write it and then go back and, like, alter some of the rhymes where, you know, it's not just me. Oh, look, I'm rhyming. But it's like, oh, hey, that's kind of cute. You're rhyming and you're telling a story. Aww. So, <laughs> Dr. Seuss makes it look easy. So, meh. Anyways, um, I think it's cute. I have come up with some new words just like Dr. Seuss does. And I use the word schlump. He schlumped. So, instead of slump. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> now, I'm in no way trying to be just like Dr. Seuss, but I am trying to, like, not necessarily imitate, but just be like, oh, I guess it's imitate. Imitate, you know, how he writes stories, and especially how he wrote The Grinch for this short little story. Because, you know, I just want to make it look cool. So, anyway, so, uh, I'm going to get back to it. Hopefully I don't kill over. Um, I'm not running a fever or anything like that, am I? My hands are cold always, so it's weird when I touch my head because my head's warmer. But it's just a sinus infection. It's not even a cold, I think. But anyways, I'm going to get back to it. Um, it's 1.36 now, so I still have time to do the 24-hour thing, deadline deal. Hopefully I can even make it into the video, so hey. Um, and then when I was out with my mom, I also thought of another cool video idea but I need to get some plums in order to do it. So, yeah. Hopefully I can find plums where I can show you all the funniness. So, I'm going to be hanging out with one of my friends tomorrow. So, hopefully, maybe we can go and try to, like, hunt down some plums. <laughs> oh. Anyways. Um. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the video. Or, back to writing. Yeah. Hello again. It's um 2:40 and I'm finally done with the story itself. So now I'm probably going to take a short break, go back and reread it and make sure it makes sense. I mean, it kind of doesn't make sense cuz it's a fan fiction of Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Are there those out there? I'm not too sure. Actually, you know, I don't even want to know cuz sometimes sometimes fan fiction is really really good. And then other times you're just like, why does this even exist? Not that it's bad, but that it's, no, it's a no, it's a no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this one isn't a no, though, you know, it may not make sense, but yeah. It's something fun that I get to do. Um, though I did say boorish raccoon in it. I was going to say something like, a uh, uncultured raccoon. I needed something that rhymed with moon, that made sense, so I hope it makes sense. But after I reread it and edit it a little bit more, you know, make sure it's what I want for this challenge, 24-hour challenge, I'm going to um, probably record either me saying it or get someone else. I don't know. I don't know how bad I really sound, so. <laughs> but, and then, you know, of course, make this video and hopefully post it. Um, even though I don't necessarily have to do that for the challenge, I kind of want to do that for the days up just because, you know, why not? <laughs> so... Yeah, we'll see how that goes, though. There we go. Hi, everyone. So, it's now 6 o'clock, and I just finished editing. Um, so, it's completely done. Yay. And all I need to do to get this video up is to record a lovely, lovely, cute things of my dogs. And then to uh, actually edit the rest of the video and then render it and then upload it so yeah but it's done so from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. even with going out and all that I finished a flash fiction in a day sorry I still can't breathe because of my nose and all that I'm gonna try to speak it because it's hard for the computer to do it in that rhythmic tone that you have with a Dr. Seuss books um, first of all that's really hard to achieve when you're not used to it <laughs> I'm used to doing just, like, regular fiction, just, like, you know, books. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really hard. So, if, if you know people who can, like, rhyme like that and get a beat to it, 
Not just go, hey, snow and mo rhyme, ooh, but like get that beat that you have in Dr. Seuss. They're geniuses. So, so I hope um, I'm going to get everything ready for y'all, and I hope y'all enjoy this one-of-a-kind fan fiction, flash fiction, fan flash fiction of the Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, entitled How Grinch Met Max. How Grinch Met Max. It was a fortnight before Christmas, and the Grinch was not happy, for a howl at his door was quite very snappy. He grumbled and mumbled and gritted his teeth until he couldn't stand it and jumped up from the bedsheets underneath. He slumped to the door and opened it with a squeak. Then he took a deep breath and let out a loud shriek. Then all fell silent, no notice of a howl. He finally, he hoped, could get some sleep, somehow. He turned back around but stopped abruptly at the sound of a thud by a straggly old tree. The Grinch growled and squinted at the little mound of snow as a soft whining called out in pitiful sorrow. He lifted one brow, what was it, this creature? How did it get up this high on the mountain in this blizzardy feature? Up popped one ear, then another, both covered with fur, and the snow pile started to move and shake with a stir. The Grinch, with his Grinchy snarl, watched as a pile of fluff popped up from the snowy marl. It was a puppy, a cute little dog, who was even smaller than a three-toed tree frog. The Grinch huffed and puffed and walked away quick. He was entirely fed up with this whole silly shtick. He was going back now to his comfortable bed to stop this dreadful, dreary aching in his head. But then for a reason he could not explain, he slowed to a stop as his anger began to drain. For a small little whimper rang through the air, and the Grinch knew that if he left that pup out there, with a huff of his breath and a groan in his throat, the Grinch shuffled over and picked up the dog by his fur coat. The puppy pleaded with eyes as big as the moon and licked the Grinch's nose with a sloppy kiss like a boorish raccoon. The Grinch scrunched up his nose and wiped off the slobber. Why was he doing this? Why even bother? But as the puppy nuzzled his chin with glee, something was happening to the Grinch that had never been seen. His cold frozen heart was melting bit by bit no longer ice in an empty old pit. The Grinch wrapped the pup up and held him close to warm up the tiny creature from his tail to his nose. He and the pup went back in the house, and he grabbed a few blankets and took the cheese from the tiny dormouse. The Grinch laid the pup down on the bed and wrapped him up from his tail to his head. He set the cheese right next to the makeshift nest and lied down for a little bit more rest. The pup curled up right next to him, all ready to relax. The Grinch grinned and whispered, Good night, dear Max. Hi, everyone. So, I just finished editing the rest of the video, and it should be up in a couple hours from when I have recorded this. Um, this is the next day, you know. And I really enjoyed this project. I really loved it. I actually had to record me narrating the story, like, twice. Because the first time I did it, I was so stopped up, you couldn't really understand me, and I felt so bad. <laughs> And so, you know, I re-recorded it, so, you know, I hope it's better for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing my dogs. Um, the little gray dog, the mini Shih Tzu, her name is Annie. And then the second dog, the Yorkie, the short-haired Yorkie, his name is Scooter. So, that those are their names. And the big dog that you saw, like, way earlier, uh, he is a Chocolate Lab and a Rottweiler mix, if you're interested in that. Uh, and his name is Khan. Kind of like the evil villain from Star Trek, which my dad named. So both my parents are nerds, just like me, it's where I get it from. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed the story because it was fun for me to write and to speak. Um, I know narration is super, super hard, so I am in no way a professional at all. And I'm sick on top of that, so... <laughs> But regardless, I hope you all really did enjoy it. Um, and I hope it inspires you to, you know, do videos like this of your own. Or, you know, make stories. Have little challenges for yourself. So, yeah. I would call this challenge uh, the flash fiction rhyming challenge a success. Because I did get it done within 24 hours. I just didn't get the video done in 24 hours. It's a little bit over, but that's okay. And, yeah. I'm very excited. So... With all that said, 
Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Winter in general. I hope, you know, this very cold time brings you some wet joy because that's the only way we're going to survive it, right? And I'll see y'all later, alligators. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. And if you want to figure out what I was doing with plums or what I'm going to do with plums, definitely definitely stay around for the next video if it's already up it should be linked somewhere in the end or if it's you know if it's not already up yet it will be soon so definitely stick around for that so it, it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun I hope I don't burn anything down but uh, plums are involved so make your guesses now in the comments yeah <laughs>